the husband at the end of his rope. I'd rather just remove the problem. I've had enough. Can Victoria defuse this ticking time bomb? But you actually haven't taught the dog how to behave. Before someone gets hurt. Our differences with dealing with Dakota's misbehavior is sometimes extreme. I don't want to be physical with her. It's probably the number one problem, because you're not. Joe sometimes will, like, slap her on the mouth or her, or her face. He definitely lunges at her to stop what she's doing. Get down. We definitely argue about keeping her or not keeping her. She might not always be like that. Kids can be unhappy for the next 10, 12 years because you're riding on a hope, hope and a dream here. I'm definitely willing to learn whatever I need to learn and do whatever I need to do to keep her. If she's quiet, she's doing something wrong. She eats furniture, she eats toys. The only reason I'm not getting rid of Dakota is because Mandy thinks we can fix her. Do you really want to get rid of her and, and send her someplace that you don't know what's going to happen to her? That's, that's cool to me. It's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm not. It is me or the dog. So who was it that didn't want, that doesn't, you don't want her? I think it's all the boys against Mandy, basically. OK. I, I feel like she's more of a nuisance than, uh, than good, really. I'd rather just remove the problem, not have to be on guard all the time on what the dog's going to do. Mandy and I have been married for eight years. But with the dog, it's like the thorn in the side. Has it put strain on our marriage? It's just a, an extra added stress that, that we really don't need. You've only had her a year. I've, Tried to get rid of her twice already. I've gotten to the point with Dakota where I've posted her on the internet while Mandy was at work to see if I can get rid of her quickly. When Dakota's in the backyard, she kind of makes it miserable if I have to do yard work. So how would you try and get her to stop? What would you do? Like, when she's getting like this, I'll, yeah. there are times I'll just grab her, um, I'll try and, and I'll try and get her to, oh. and try and get her to calm down this way. You know, sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know? When you hold a dog down like that, people think that dog's calming down, but actually, the dog's not calmed down at all. What they do is they shut down. They learn, it instinct tells them they're being put in a compromised position. So in order to survive, they shut down. <laughs> when Joe gets angry, he slaps her, and he doesn't just tap her. I heard the connection of his hand to the bone on her nose, and it was hard. That's, that's a pretty hard whack. Yeah. You do that with her quite a lot. It's not so much the hardness of the whack, it's the action of the whack that, I'm, that, that, that concerns me. That could actually backfire. God forbid one of the children goes to touch her. OK. And she just sees his hand coming towards her, thinks back to when she was hit, and then bang, goes for the hand. And I've seen it happen a lot. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, like, in, in disciplining, it's supposed to be a, a negative reaction to what she's doing. Yeah. Because I used to be, who wants to get slapped in the snout every time you do something wrong? But then you've just got a negative feeling with the owner. The owner has just hurt me, so I'm going to not trust you as much. I don't like that kind of relationship with a dog. I want the dog to do things for me because it wants to. I do believe in discipline, mm -hmm. just this isn't working. We need to find a way where you can actually have a relationship with her where she listens to you. Joe has zero relationship with Dakota, and he doesn't want her in his home. That makes my job very hard. I don't think Mandy and Joe really understand the seriousness of the situation, nor do they understand that actually they're the cause of the dog's bad behavior. I see this dog getting blamed for so much negative behavior that you could have prevented. It's very, very difficult when you are correcting a dog, but you actually haven't taught the dog how to behave. So it's really actually not the dog's fault. You brought this dog into your family. It is therefore your responsibility to train this dog to be able to succeed in your family. Do you really see yourself being able to welcome this dog into your family again? I'd be willing to give it, a, give it a shot as long as we see change, you know? If I'm giving all that I can and there's really no, no change, then I think we have to find another avenue, you know, as far as it'll be better for us and better for the dog as well. Yeah. Joe's shut down completely. How am I ever going to get him to work with his dog when he has absolutely no feeling for his dog at all? You know what? You called me here. I'm here, mm -hmm. so <laughs> absolutely. I'm going to do my job. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a lot of time to do it, but you're going to be the ones that ultimately work at it. In order to start changing Dakota's negative behavior, 
Victoria needs Joe and Mandy to start building a real relationship with their pet. So she takes them to a neutral location. I would like to introduce you to clicker training. I think clicker training is such a great way to train a dog. And the reason why we use a clicker is because this sound becomes the precursor to some great reward. So she now has to make the connection with the click and a reward. And we know she's food motivated, so that's what we're going to use. Clicker training can be very fast. It can be very motivating. And this is a dog that needs that in order to learn. Sit. Good girl. Wait. Up. Wait. Up. Up. She pulls focus all the time. Her brain is everywhere. She has a very short attention span. I'm a little bit skeptical about how Dakota's gonna react to the clicker training, cause she is a little bit of a stubborn dog and she's very impulsive. Very good girl, very good girl. I like you to do the same thing as I'm doing. I was gonna do something for you. Come on, sit, sit. Nice. Sit girl. Nice, girl. beautiful timing. Mandy did pretty well with the clicker training. Her timing is good. Now, it's Joe's turn. You're gonna give her a very clear signal. That's your hand signal, stay. And then I want you to take one or two steps back. Not too sure how clicker training is gonna work with her, how well she's gonna do with it, especially with me, because um, we really don't have the best relationship right now. All right, get her attention. Cody. Sit. Do Cody. the hand signal. Sit. Uh, uh, try it again. Sit. Did you see what she did? No. She went like this. She flinched, because she's used to you going Whoop. When you do that, it just really does not build trust. You get angry if she doesn't respond to you. Well, yeah, hey, that's your fault, not hers. Dakota doesn't trust Joe, and therefore she doesn't really listen to him that well. Just move into her again. Sit. Cody. Try it one more time. Cody, sit. Cody. Let's go around again. I think that Joe is having trouble getting through the clicker training because he's just fed up with her and, and, you know, just wanting to get rid of her. Mm -mm. Walk into her again, just with Sit. the other food. That's it. Tell her. Stay. Take two steps back. Uh -uh. Now that shake off is a definite. Do you see she's shaking off? Mm -hmm. It's a definite stress relief. She's, she's feeling stress. Clicker training was a little rough. Dakota doesn't really trust me as well. It's mostly my fault. I think she's had enough. Okay. The relationship I've had with the dog is gonna take some time to, to fix. Good girl. There might be hope if Joe actually cares for Dakota, if he sees what her potential could be, but I don't know whether he's able to. He's already made his judgment. Dakota's still at risk of being given away. Victoria wants to help strengthen the bond between Joe and Dakota by showing him all her potential. I want to introduce you to Virginia and Louise because they have an amazing agility center. I think this is something that Dakota could really benefit from. When you give a dog a sport, not only is it getting rid of all that physical energy and the dog is thinking, but also it's creating a really good bond between you, it's teamwork. I'd be willing to give Dakota the, the best I can for now, but um, if I don't see any change, I don't know. So I want you to go to the other side of the A-frame, Mandy. You are going to encourage her to come up here, OK? okay. But let's just see how she does this. Come on. Come, come on, Cody. Oh. Don't let her fall off. <laughs> oh, 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 OK. Too fast. Too fast. When she got on here, her face was a little panicky, so okay. let's do it slowly. Okay. And whilst you're doing that, praise her too. Okay. Say, this is good, this is good, OK? You're always, you're always motivating her. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Good girl. On, Very girl. good. Good girl. Good girl, Coda. You know what I'm... Oh, good wow, girl. Right. Good girl. Wow. <laughs> all right. Good girl, Cody. Good girl. Good girl. That was awesome. That was, cool. that was amazing. <laughs> That's quite advanced. Yeah. That's impressive. I didn't expect her to do that. <laughs> me neither. It, it made me feel great to see Dakota do so well on the agility course. It, it would be fun to, uh, you know, to bring her down and do it together. Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. Nice. Good girl, Cody. I love it. When I came in that first day, there was no praise on this dog. But now you are, you're getting that connection. And she's just really listening to you. This could be something really good for her to do. Mm -hmm. 
I was so pleased with what happened today at the Agility because if Joe can be proud of his dog, well then I hope that he wants to keep her in his family. Nice. Good girl. It's been two weeks since I left the Halden Wang family and I'm proud to say there's been quite a turnaround. Good girl. Treating Dakota like a member of the family is so important to Dakota's continued success. It's great to see the Halden Wangs doing just that. Sit, good girl. Joe and Mandy have been working hard on Dakota's impulse control and they've been making great strides. Stay. The biggest success since Victoria's left has been Dakota's acknowledgement of us. Cody nice girl, treats. come here. Sit, good girl. She pays better attention to us, she listens better. Um, and the clicker training, I think, has really come a long way. Mm -hmm. you try? Yeah. When I first arrived, there was no consistency in the training between Joe and Mandy. Sit. Good girl. But now that they're on the same page, I'm really impressed with the success that they're having with Dakota. Rub my neck and my chest. Come on, Cody, come. Just two weeks ago, Joe was ready to give Dakota up. Now it's wonderful to see Joe enjoying some quality time with the family dog. I love it when I see progress. I think Mandy's definitely happy that uh, Dakota and I are starting to form a bond. I feel like she's becoming more of my buddy, you know, like she's actually becoming, you know, my dog now. <laughs>